Nerves in the face, head, and neck are all affected by the fifth cranial nerve, also known as the trigeminal or trifacial. This nerve is the largest cranial nerve, and its branches are used for chewing and transmitting facial sensations to the brain. There are three main branches. The first branch is the ophthalmic. It's the top one-third of the face and divides into three parts the supraorbital, which affects the upper eyelid, eyebrow, and forehead and scalp, the supratrochlear, which affects the upper side of the nose and between the eyes, and the nasal, which reaches the tip and lower side of the nose. The second part is the maxillary, which affects the middle one-third of the face and divides into two parts. The zygomatic, which affects the side of the forehead, temple, and cheek. The infraorbital, which affects the lower eyelid, the side of the nose, the upper lip, and the mouth. The final branch of the trifacial nerve is the mandibular which extends to the lower one-third of the face and divides into two parts. The auriculotemporal affects the ear and the top of the head to the temple. The mental affects the lower lip and chin. The seventh cranial nerve is the primary motor nerve of the face. It travels from the brain and out at the lower part of the ear. There are six important branches. The posterior auricular affects the muscles behind and below the ear. The temporal affects muscles in the temple, side of the forehead, eyebrow, eyelid, and upper cheek. The zygomatic extends to the muscles of the upper cheek. The buccal affects the muscles of the mouth. The mandibular affects the muscles of the chin and lower lip. The cervical affects the muscles on the side of the neck. The greater occipital affects the back of the scalp and the top of the head. The lesser occipital affects the muscles at the back of the skull. The greater auricular affects the side of the neck and around the area of the ear, and the cervical cutaneous affects the side and front of the neck to the breastbone. <laughs>